Okay, guys, you are in for a special video today. Today, so first of all, I'm going to say that as of right now, as of filming right now, uh, I have conducted two tests. Um, and both of those tests were from the poll. Uh, what's important, though, is that the option that, that got the most votes is one of the ones I did today. However, it's not the first test that I did today, but it's the first one you're going to see in this episode. I know that in the poll and on the list of things that Osmium doesn't react with, I said that I was going to use um, 2 to 1 and 1 to 1 Piranha Solution. If there are any changes to this beat at all, I'd have to say that some of the spots that were already there have darkened a little bit. But I think that's like, you know, only changes. Like, some of these spots over here they I think they might be a little bit darker now but oh maybe on the back over here a little bit maybe some spots may have gotten a little darker on the back here I think well we'll just have to see what happens so I'm just gonna pick up the augment property first okay I've got it I have got it Putting it in. Oh shit. Okay, that, that gave me a scare for a second. Holy fuck! Look what it did to the tweezers. Holy shit. Alright, it doesn't like this at all. I think that's the peroxide decomposing, honestly. I don't think the, uh, the oven still looks fine. That's got to be the peroxide decomposing. The oven is still shiny in there. All right, it's getting okay. It's I'm not comfortable with this anymore. It's getting a little bit sighted. Okay, just like that, you disarm it instantly. Right away, just disarm it. Okay. Now we just gotta take our tweezers, which are now completely destroyed. Move this around a bit. Guys are not going to believe this. Unless my mind is playing tricks on me. Uh, let's take a look. It kind of looks like maybe it removed a little bit of the tarnish. How? How? It really does look as though some of the tarnish is actually gone. Like there were some dark spots after I tested with the permanganate and now it looks as though they're just gone. Yeah, those dark spots don't look as dark anymore but the rest of the Tarnish looks like it's slightly, I don't know, faded. Now I did the test with, I did this test and you know, nothing's happening. I don't know if osmium tetroxide reacts with cotton 
Uh, it's a strong oxidizer, so yeah, it just looks like it may have taken off the staining from the permanganate solution. And maybe that's all it was. Maybe it wasn't, it didn't even oxidize. Maybe it just stained the osmium a bit and the piranha solution took it right off. And maybe it took off some of the tarnish as well, which is honestly surprising. It's possible that it may have... I don't know. I think it might be slightly possible that whatever osmium dioxide was on the surface got converted back to osmium metal. I don't know if that's possible. But I do know that osmium oxides tend to revert back to the metal in certain reactions. And I don't actually know what's going on here. So your feedback would be great on what happened here. Wow. That is one hell of a result. Okay, now it looks like it's kind of back to normal, sort of. So I, I don't think it actually removed the tarnish. It appeared as though it did at first, but no dice, I don't think. take a look over here yeah no it didn't it didn't reverse any of the tarnishing no it didn't take any tarnish off it just it just removed the the permanganate stains that's all it did